Hi, and welcome to this video where we will be showcasing flaky tests. With flaky tests, you can identify and analyze inconsistent tests, understand their impact on your workflows, and take action to resolve issues. Now let's have a look at what flaky tests offers. So you can automatically detect flaky tests in your CI CD pipeline by highlighting those that show inconsistent results across runs. You can use and create powerful filters to pinpoint tests that have the greatest impact on disrupting your pipelines. You can analyze the workflow impact, so examine the impact of flaky tests on different workflows with the frequency of caused disruptions. You can also get insights and trends, so spot trends and understand the severity of issues over time through detailed visualizations that enable you to track newly introduced flaky tests and review historical performance of specific tests. You can then organize everything with labels, so streamline the management and quickly identify patterns by organizing flaky tests into labeled groups. This enhances collaboration and efficiency for developers to actually address and track these issues. You can then perform a deep dive into individual tests, so take a closer look of how frequently a test influences code changes and various sections of your project. You can then evaluate the percentage of tests that fail due to a particular test and compare test figures and similar data from the previous month. And you can then also take steps towards resolution. So you can mark tests as resolved or create tickets in external tools directly from our interface, completed with test markdown data and links. Now let's have a look at the demo. When we have test reports set up, we can go into the flaky tests tab. Now in the flaky tests tab, we get a general overview of the flakiness of our tests. So here we can detect new flaky tests introduced throughout the runs in our project. Now on the right, we can see disruptions caused by our tests. So we are able to get a prediction of how the flaky tests are causing disruptions in our pipeline. Now, we can also get a detailed overview of all of the tests that are turning out to be flaky. So for instance, we can then actually filter them by age, the last flakiness that was caused, the number of disruptions, and we can also then in the end trigger actions. So we can go into each test individually once we've identified the ones that are really causing the biggest flakiness. And then we are able to see the total runs, disruptions caused by this specific test, the impact it had, the pass rate that was, and also the duration of the test itself. Now, once we've identified the main problems, so the tests which generate the maximum number of disruptions, we can actually go and start resolving them. Now, if we want, we can actually add labels to each of these tests. So for instance, right here, we can add a label and say high priority, for instance. And this test will be labeled as a high priority. And then we can filter them out by using the filter above. So using this filter, we can actually create new filters and filter out the tests which were flaky. And once we've identified and grouped our tests, we can actually start taking actions to actually solve these issues. So right here on the right, we have two possible actions, either marking this test as resolved or actually creating a ticket for this test. Once we click on this, we actually get some markdown for this specific test and some info about this test. And we can add a ticket URL. So for instance, if you're using either Jira or Trello or something else, you can just paste in the ticket URL address and this will be linked to the test itself. Once you have resolved this test, you can just unlink it and mark it as resolved. Now with this dashboard, you're able to get an overview of the flakiness of your tests and actually start resolving your issues so that your CI CD pipeline will be performing faster and more efficiently. So make sure you try this feature out.